Alright you guys, if you don't want to learn how to do special effects in After Effects, then this video is for you because there's a really cool app called Effecto.app, which basically has a library full of special effects. So all you need to do is just upload your video and apply the effects and customize them. So I think this is really exciting, so let's take a look. All right, so here we are, and first we're gonna check out the left menu, and as you can see here, we got some videos, already done videos, and all you need to do, actually these are like images, and some of them are videos. So in this situation, I don't wanna use any of these videos, so I'm gonna click on the upload, and here you can upload your own video. And for example, I'm gonna select a 1080p footage, click on open, so let's see what it's gonna do. Now this looks great already. And then here we got the animation options. You got the loop option, playback speed. You can speed it up or speed it down. And then you also got some contrast, brightness, contrast, saturation. I probably won't touch it. Actually, I will. So take a look at that. It is definitely going to impact the ASCII special effect. I'm gonna adjust the contrast too. So pretty much this is it from the last menu. So let's go and take a look at the right menu. So here you're going to find all the bells and whistles. So we got like the cell size. You can see we can increase the ASCII or decrease the ASCII or what is that called. And then you also got an option invert. So it's going to look the negative color mode, black and white versus color. And you also got the character rotation. I don't even know. Oh, oh, basically it is going to animate the ASCII. It is going to rotate the ASCII. So I don't really like that. But this is pretty much it from the ASCII. And you also can change up the ASCII. You get like a lot of these templates. For example, I'm going to select the dance and take a look at that. We got some new patterns, which is really interesting. Cell size. Let's go on. We got the minimal. Let's go on. Blocks. So these are the half tone lines, as you can see. And here I'm going to adjust the cell size a little bit more and adjust the contrast or the brightness. Oh yeah, this is it. And then also deactivate the color. So now I got a proper half tone line effect. So let's go on. We got the braille. Well, you're going to need to adjust the settings on every each. Yeah. Matrix. So you get like all kind of really cool effects. And about least the hatching. Okay, so this was it. Now we got like three more effects. So let's go first on the ditter. And take a look at that. This thing has ditter in it implemented, which is great. Because I think it's really hard to make ditter effect like this in After Effects. And here you just got it on the get-go. You also can change up the noise preset. Take a look at that. You got all kind of presets. Let me check out the thermal. So basically this is going to change up the colors, but you also can change up the colors here by customizing it. You also can add color if you want. For example, this has like five color nuances. So this way you got like a more complete ditter effect. And you also got the brightness contrast details. You also got the bloom if you want to activate that and increase the intensity. So it's going to make it glowy. You also got the radius but I don't recommend it here. So let's go on and we can go here to the ditter effects and you can change up the ditter effects also. So let's take a look, but these pretty much look kind of the same, some of them. Let me try to find something interesting. So anyways, these are pretty much the same ditter effects. So let's go on to the glitch. And this is going to create a really dope glitch. We got the VHS glitch. And then let's go here to the scaling. You can scale it up or scale down. I gotta bring it down a little bit. Distortion, we got noise. I also gonna increase that. Glitching, you can make it more or less glitchy. I gotta add more glitch, why not? Grain, and then you can slow down or speed up the animation. And you also got the RGB shift. So if you increase it, it's going to create that really cool chromatic aberration. I'm gonna max it out scale yeah so it's pretty fun then you also got another one we got the digital so it is going to make it even more glitchy and fancy the first one is a chromatic aberration we're going to add a little bit line tier you're going to make it more dense or less dense pixelation let me decrease this now it's made it really messy let's see the amount this is going to scale up or scale down the squares displacement uh, this is pretty crazy. 
opacity. So you get like all kind of stuff in here. I got to decrease that and decrease the animation to make it slower maybe. So yeah, this is pretty confusing, but you can make it work by experimenting with it. Now, not but least, we got the special here and we got some warp, which is really interesting. You got the intensity, but it, I don't think it's doing a lot. Let me scale. No, it's not doing anything actually. Animate, whatever, warp. Yeah, it's only the warp. So pretty much this is it. I think I really like the ASCII. And then if you want to render it, you also got here the options. We got the record. You can go click on the arrow and select WebM or MP4 slow. So when it means slow, it is really damn slow. So when you select the MP4, all you need to do is just click on the record. I got to click on it and this is going to record the screen. And I think it's enough. I can click on the stop and it's going to convert. So this process is really long. And then you also got the capture here. You can capture a screenshot. For example, I'm going to click and it downloaded and there you go. So pretty much that's how you use this really cool special effect online app. If you don't want to learn after effects. Thanks for watching.